No one likes to sit in traffic, but one new study is showing that there might be a link between traffic stress and weight gain. A four-year study of more than 5,000 people shows that long-term exposure to traffic noise could increase the rate of obesity in adults. The study, published in the journal Occupational and Environmental Medicine, showed that the combination of noise from cars, trains, and planes may lead people to develop central obesity, or the spare tire effect. Almost two-thirds of the people in the study, who were regularly exposed to road traffic noise of at least 45 decibels, saw an increase in their waist size. The study also found that the greater the amount of different sources of noise heard, the greater the risk of an increased waist size. Similar results are found in people who don't get enough sleep, leading researchers to further conclude that stress may be a major factor. Increased waist size can lead to increased risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Doctors are quick to point out that while stress is likely a factor for these types of diseases, diet and exercise continue to be the most important factors. In addition to stress caused by traffic noise, those 45 plus decibels could also be affecting your hearing. How do you know if your hearing is at risk? The audiology specialist at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat and Facial Plastic Surgery explained the different ways hearing loss presents. Anytime someone is working around loud equipment, working in a factory, it is regulated now that people wear hearing protection and it's monitored by OSHA. A lot of people don't do that though because they say, I can't hear my boss, I can't hear my coworkers, and so they sort of take their sound protection out, which can damage the hearing. So it's very important to wear hearing protection when you're working around loud equipment in a factory. A lot of people who are not in large companies, maybe they have a lawn company, a lawn service, and they're not monitored by OSHA, but they do need to be wearing earmuffs or earplugs to protect themselves from the loud equipment. There are many different things that can cause hearing loss. The most common would be aging and just degeneration of the hearing nerve, genetics, but we also can see some ototoxicity with certain medications that you take. A very important part of recommending hearing aids is learning about the lifestyle of the individual. If you are someone who's at home, then you probably don't need one of the more moisture resistant type of hearing aids. But if you're a very active individual who's out dancing, playing golf, more actively involved in the environment, perspiring, then we definitely need to make a choice that we're going to select a hearing aid that can resist moisture and the problems that we could have more so than others. There are certain types of hearing aids that we would want to avoid if the person has a lot of problems with earwax. So, we need to learn about the patient, their lifestyle, their body, their ears to help us determine what is the best recommendation for them. The hearing loss is not the only thing that determines what hearing aid we will use. For more information on hearing aids and the audiology services available at Lake ENT, please click on the bumper to bumper hearing loss story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.